everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News update. Thanks for joining us. The Ministries of Education and Financial Services have partnered with Kim and Finance for a pilot program called the Education and Work Experience Initiative. CIG TV went along with officials when they first announced the program to students who are doing their A levels. The Minister of Education and CEO of Kim and Finance has more details. We've just met with the first uh, group of students here doing A levels at Cayman Islands uh, Prep School and it is really exciting for me to, to be here to speak to the year 12 students who are year 12 in the government school system but just happen to be doing their A-levels here. Um, they seemed very enthusiastic, they had lots of really great questions. I'm excited about the fact that you know we are here and offering such a program that will give them such a great opportunity to get exposure, get experience in, and make connections with people in the financial services industry. And again, I'd like to thank Cayman Finance for really pulling this together and the per persons that have put themselves forward to be mentors and coaches and to facilitate the workshops. Uh, I want to thank the people in the Ministry of Education for really working hard to make this a reality as well, working with the schools and the students. And so it's really an opportunity for students and a last push Make sure if you are in the year 12 dual enrollment program, either doing your first year at UCCI, your first year of A-levels, please, please, please don't miss this opportunity because it really is an opportunity of a lifetime for you to learn more about the financial services industry and to finally have an, ex an opportunity to have work experience as an, as an end to the program, um, having the one month paid work internship. So with that, I just want to say um, definitely take advantage of the opportunity. Sign up, www.caymanfinances.com. Don't miss the, the, the chance of a lifetime for you right now to possibly create your path to a successful career in the financial services industry. Finance. It's just such an exciting program. Uh, I have the pleasure of being the CEO of uh, Cayman Finance. So really our primary goals are promoting, developing and growing the financial services industry. You know, I, I have the privilege to be part of an industry that is world-class and a leading international financial center. But we recognize that to ensure we can sustain that success into the future, we need to provide access and opportunities to our talented young Caymanians so that they can develop and become the leaders of that industry in the future. Uh, we have a great industry that's a combination of persons from overseas who have come to work, live, and love this country, along with local grown talent who work together to provide just excellence and delivery of service in our financial services industry. This particular program that we've focused on is targeted toward our dual enrollment students uh, in the government education program in their year 12. And it really started off as just some initial discussions, which is a continuation of many other programs that, that we see in our financial services organizations whether it be providing scholarships or internships or training and development programs. And as we discussed more, we recognized there was actually a gap with regard to the dual enrollment students in the government education uh, system, that there really wasn't a structured, formal work experience program available to them. And so we, we actually started with just thoughts on a napkin and, and ideas. And join us later this week when we bring you more details on the pilot program. Well, if you've traveled off-island recently, you would have noticed temporary improvements in some areas of the Owen Roberts International Airport. Overcrowding has been a big issue for some time at the airport, and government officials are tackling the problem with a major and much-needed expansion project. Tourism counselor Joseph Hugh explains. And I'm happy to say that plans are continuing nicely with the redevelopment of the Owen, Owen Roberts International Airport. We should see construction starting there by the end of June, maybe early July this summer. The development of the airport will continue over for two, two and a half years and will see us double the size of the current airport that we have. So we're excited about that. I think that one, once our guests see the signs and the progress being made that they'll understand that we're addressing the issue of the overcrowding. And we'll bring you the latest on cruise berthing facilities on CIG TV on Thursday evening. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a great and, of course, a safe night. And I'll invite you to join us again on Wednesday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.